So at Build 2020, Microsoft announced a new tool for the Office 365 suite, and that's Microsoft Lists. So when I heard about this, I read the description and it made me think that it was essentially just gonna be a place that I could go and see all my lists that were spread across the different SharePoint sites that I belong to. Turns out that's not quite the case. They're kind of building this as a separate tool, but using a lot of that infrastructure behind it. So what Microsoft's after here, I think, is a tool that you can use to manage things like inventory, uh, agendas for events, or maybe something to keep track of uh, candidates that are in your hiring funnel. This tool reminded me a lot of Monday.com when I first saw it. It uses a lot of rows and uh, graphical representations on those rows, and it's really pretty. And I think they've taken a lot of hints from that and brought them into the SharePoint world and are using some of those elements to improve the already pretty good list interface. It hasn't been rolled out yet. They have just announced that they're targeting late July, maybe a little bit into the fall to fully roll out to everyone for the web app portion. So there's a web app, there's no desktop app, an actual thing that you download and run on your computer, but there is going to be a mobile app as well. So on Android and iOS, they're going to be targeting, I think, later like this winter to have a full-fledged app to support all this list functionality. And then there's one other spot that they keep highlighting it, and that is within Teams. So their goal is to make it really easy to collaborate with one of your teams and create lists within that context. So there's going to be a lists app that you can install in Teams and there it'll just show up as a separate tab that you can access and manage lists within the context of your team. So some of my initial thoughts were, how does this differ from a SharePoint list? I'm used to using SharePoint lists all the time, adding columns and, and customizing the different fields and using content types, stuff like that. They've simplified that process a lot. As far as I understand, it's using the same infrastructure that SharePoint uses, but they've built things on top of that. So when you have to signify something in your list on the actual row by uh, maybe a person or some kind of like progress bar, they've done a lot better job in, in not just making a text like X percent or uh, some kind of boring text looking thing, they've actually added little widgets in there that you can uh, set the data type on the item in your row and show some actual graphical representation of that there. One cool feature I wanted to call out was item level security on lists. So if you have a list that has some, some sensitive content in it and you want someone else to collaborate with you, but only on a certain portion of it, you can give them access to a specific item in that list. So when you grant them access, you can make it so they can read or read and write. Um, and you can do things like set an expiration on how long they have access to it or uh, make them put in a password when they want to access it. For the developers listening, there are still some options that continue on what SharePoint has done before in allowing for customization to the display forms of these lists or the, the edit forms as well. So when you want to go in and, and, and visualize the content or lay it out in a different way than what SharePoint does it by default, there are still some options to uh, customize that with Power Apps. Another thing I wanted to call out is that it does have a small portion of Power Automate to it. It's not really a full-fledged Power Automate with multiple steps. It has a very if this then that feel to it. So something like if I add a new item to this list that is of certain type, I want you to notify someone. Uh, just basic automation like that. I think it's a good good step in the right direction to uh, not requiring a full Power Automate flow, uh, but adding some smarts to the list that you can collaborate with people easier. 
So there's a couple questions that I had when I first uh, kind of dove in and learned a little bit more about this. And it looks like there's people that also had questions on the announcement thread that I found. So I'm going to take some time to dive into those questions. And they did answer a couple, so I wanted to, to, to share those with you. The first question was, where is this list information actually stored? And so I'm going to read the answer from the Microsoft rep here. Uh, he said, Microsoft lists benefit from SharePoint as their content service. And per your question, SharePoint is the storage container for the list data, as they are today for SharePoint lists, for both personal lists and team lists. They do have a blog that they dive into a little bit more information about how these lists are in evolution of SharePoint lists. We're going to link to that in the description below. He goes on to comment that it's very similar to how OneDrive is set up, just kind of a layer on top of SharePoint and having a personal aspect on top of SharePoint that only you have access to. Another comment I thought was interesting was a guy saying that this seems a lot like Microsoft Tasks, something that hasn't rolled out yet, something that they're working on. And uh, I thought the response was, was interesting. So he basically said he wanted to provide some clarity here for what tool to use when, because they're stepping into this ecosystem where there's a lot of tools that could kind of be interchangeable and uh, might be able to serve multiple purposes. But uh, he dives into kind of the, the crux of what each one does really well. So Microsoft Lists, this, this new one, is meant to create, share, and track structured information with the ability to create, collect, view, filter, sort, collaborate, share, etc. across status, life cycle, ownership, etc. He goes on to say, Lists can further integrate with the Power Platform to design and build productivity apps alongside Power Apps and Power Automate and think of lists as the underlying database for those apps. The next one's Microsoft To Do. Uh, he lays out that this one is for individuals. It's not a team-based solution. So it gives a complete view of all their tasks, including tasks assigned to them. It is their view on their tasks. When completed, tasks disappear. Next is Microsoft Planner, another task management tool, but it's for the team. Tasks are assigned to individuals on the team, and when completed, tasks disappear. He then goes in a little bit to Microsoft Tasks, uh, the tool that, that is going to be coming out. Uh, he says it's an app within Teams to help users manage and prioritize their work. Generated, aggregated tasks from across Microsoft's portfolio of productivity and collaboration tools. Office Docs, Planner Plans, Emails, Chats, and more. It sounds like this is a tool that's going to have a lot of inputs and hopefully a lot of smarts behind it to uh, prioritize and show you what's applicable to your workday. The last one is Microsoft Excel. Um, when you look at the Lists app, it's going to be pretty similar. Like It has rows and columns, and so a lot of people think that looks a lot like Excel. Uh, and so he wanted to clarify what that separation is what, what makes them different. Uh, so Excel is meant to create spreadsheets using built-in tools to help turn data into insights and to visualize via charts and graphs. Uh, so it's an analysis tool, less, less a daily workflow tool. Uh, so I'm thinking that hopefully people will kind of transition to what they used to use Excel for all the time to, to lists because it's a much simpler interface and a lot better to look at in my opinion and makes it a lot easier to create them as well. I didn't mention it before but they have a bunch of templates that you can start from when you create lists that I think will be really helpful to get stuff going and, and, and onboard people really easily to the tool. It's not clear whether or not you'll be able to create your own templates in the future but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we'll be able to do that. One last note on Excel is that they do allow importing from Excel to lists. So once again, making the onboarding even easier. If someone determines they want to use lists instead of Excel, they can import their actual spreadsheet in and get going easier that way. Another comment that uh, I wanted to point out was someone was asking, are you going to deprecate these 
the, the old classic lists at all. And uh, he was very adamant in saying there, there's no plans to deprecate classic lists. Basically just explaining that there's a lot of these in production and they want to support them uh, as they have for many years into the future. Um, I'm hoping that SharePoint lists, the classic lists, are going to evolve along with the list app and bring some of that functionality back in to the SharePoint world. And lastly, he goes on to say that they did record a podcast from one of the product managers on that team about lists. And I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. I think it's got a lot of good content, just conversation around this new lists app. So like I said before, this is a tool that's gonna be rolling out shortly. We're definitely gonna be trying it when it comes out and getting our hands dirty, seeing what we like, what we don't like, and we plan to have some more content in the future that we're gonna dive into and, and hopefully share some insights with you. Lastly, I wanted to say thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please uh, like and subscribe, hit the little bell to uh, be notified when we come out with new videos. This is a newer effort for us. Uh, we're a consulting business, and so we normally just work with clients. We're recognizing that when we learn new things, our clients are benefiting from that, but sometimes we have knowledge that we can share with others as well. And so you can count on this channel, continuing to produce content, sharing insights that we learn throughout our day jobs, and just keeping you in the loop on what's current in the modern workplace world. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time.